The extreme opposites of Kevin Smith's filmmaking personality coexist side by side in Zack and Miri make a porno. You're gonna have to start hooking. You jest, but these are the exact circumstances people find themselves in right before they start having sex for money yeah. or making porn. Oh my God, yeah. What, you got an idea? Yes, there's a ton of sex, as the title would suggest, including one scene that is so incredibly wrong, words do not even begin to describe it. Her name bubbles. Raw, raunchy dialogue has always been one of the writer-director's preferred tactics, dating back to his pioneering 1994 debut, Clerks. And that's certainly true this time as well. What? Anything I've seen? What, what movies? Oh, all sorts of movies with all male casts. All male casts? Like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, like that? Like Glenn and Gary suck Ross's meeting. Is that like a sequel? Actually, it's more relevant than usual this time. But Zack and Miri also reflects the sweetness that has crept into Smith's movies in recent years as he settles into his real-life roles as husband and father. We could make a porno. Not the idea I was looking for. What? No, yeah, that's a rad idea. That guy, Brandon St. Randy, who's Bobby Long's awesome, nice boyfriend, he said he makes a hundred grand a year because he shoots and distributes his own porno flicks. If it's so easy, how come everybody doesn't do it? Because other people have options and dignity, which we do not have. Which a guy and a girl, longtime best Jesus. friends and roommates, realize they're secretly in love with each other. It's one of the most hackneyed romantic comedy premises of all time. Wait, are we doing it? Well, you've never thought about the repercussions of sleeping with a chick you've known your whole life? What are you, slow? Yeah. Through Smith's screwed up prism, though, Zach, played by Seth Rogen, and Miri, played by Elizabeth Banks, come to this realization while having on-camera sex during an amateur adult movie. And I have some cream for you. This is the worst porno I've ever seen. It's something they do out of desperation to pay the bills during a miserable Pittsburgh winter. Rogan and Banks make an extremely likable comic pair, despite the fact that they're an unlikely romantic match. Just use the water out of the toilet. There's poo in there. Not that part, the back part of the oh. toilet thing. Both are clearly comfortable in such naughty but highly verbal territory as alumni of Judd Apatow movies. And as in Apatow's Knocked Up, this is yet another wish fulfillment comedy in which the tubby, schlubby Rogan lands an impossibly beautiful woman who would never give him the time of day in real life. It's my job as the producer to see what you got. That makes you uncomfortable. I love the movies. The way this plays out is so unexpectedly tender it almost makes you think that maybe Smith's ooey-gooey side won out after all. Almost. Till next time, from Los Angeles, I'm Christy Lemire, AP Movie Critic.